there's many peptides. So uh, about 10 years ago, I started using some peptides uh, in medicine. And, and we've we, everybody's probably using one and it's glutathione. So GSH, glutathione right. is a tripeptide that everybody knows about, but mm -hmm. no, a lot of people don't understand that that's a peptide when they're talking about the, the traditional realms. Uh, but there's other ones. So I began uh, using something called thymosin alpha one. Uh -huh. uh, and I loved thymosin alpha one because it really helped uh, a lot of these people with these inflammatory conditions because you know, when you're talking about chronic disease and when you're talking about mold and mold toxicity, it causes oxidative stress and we're causing inflammation throughout our body. And because of that, we have to have something that helps turn, turn down that inflammatory markers and those inflammatory markers. So I started using thymosin alpha one and melanotan two. Those were kind of my two key ones mm -hmm. that I use all the time because, uh, Melanotan 2, although it might make you dark, it's really a great uh, pathway through the melanocortin system in decreasing an inflammatory response, including, you know, you know, ACTH, you know, it helps modulate that. So the ACTH, the MSH, all the things coming down from the hypothalamus, it really helps to dampen and, and really helps to uh, control some of that inflammation and some of the neuroinflammation. That's not one of the ones that we call a neuropeptide a lot of times, but it really does help to bring down neuroinflammation. So that's why I got so turned on to peptides. As time went on, we started introducing more and more peptides all, all along. And, and you probably know one of my favorites that now is LL37 because mm -hmm. it works so tremendously with our Lyme patients. Right. Uh, and so I love it and what it does for our Lyme patients, but it's not just our Lyme patients. I'm finding all these other people with other uh, viral vectors and uh, it really helps them to mediate that, uh, that insult from those different vectors, either bacterial, viral, parasitic. Uh, it really helps all of them. And I love it because it goes in conjunction with uh, other medications or other uh, antivirals that are homeopathic or whatever you want to use. You know, it goes along with all of them. So it doesn't matter what your modalities are. And, and, and you know, uh, we've, we've spoken a lot I use multiple modalities. So I'll use some traditional type medicine stuff. Then I'll use some uh, more of a naturopathic approach, sometimes a homeopathic approach. It depends on the individual patient, right. what you're going to do. But I love peptides because they go along with all of it. 